Epilepsy device, which is on here based on the cochlear implant, um, is designed to predict seizures and math brain waves and patterns in the brain. Yeah, I mean, look, if you imagine an MRI, the way yeah, that you go into the street, same. it's the same thing. It's just same more... thing, just a different measure. Those stem cells can turn into different types of tissue. Right. So in this case, cartilage, but it could be bone or muscle or whatever. So, so that's the project. The kind of technology which we're about two years away from the human trial in that. And we use a QB scan. So they've done that space on the thing, have they? Yeah, yeah, I thought we were doing that. It's a bit insulting. Yeah. So we concur. I thought we were doing that. Yeah, and, and this is useful. Do you have any pets to use? Yeah, so we use lots of different ones. So, as I said, this one's got a carbon group on it. It's very thin. So, as I said, about. It's very thin. So, uh, you see the, the color difference? That's indicating of two different thickness. The dark one, maybe 220 nanometers, we can study uh, the dark deliveries. Like, uh, Cancer cell research. If you, for example, need cartilage repair because you play too much netball, or you just cut your knee open, you have the ink in here, take your own cells, and then print the print the ink. The cross linking, UV light. You can understand what the spine is. Yeah, it turns to like you know, and you injure one muscle fiber. Where did it originally come from? For so that's what you're seeing here. This is the trunk region. So it's moving kind of fast. But that the cool genetic tools. <laughs> Connect via a magnet. The microphones pick up the sound and they convert it into a sig digital signal. Down the implant electrode array into the cochlea and then it stimulates the hearing nerve. The external component to the system is two elements in the system. There's an internal magnet and the external. Have you heard of cochlea before? Yeah. yeah. We do a newborn babies, I'm one of the intensivists, so we use the, the little umbilical cord to introduce catheters, like the one you see here, to write as an ECG, and then the team will get some advice of where are you, they go into the heart, there appears an ECG for analysis, and then the analysis will be performed by the device, and then gives them a warning and says you are into the heart, that's not safe. So it's involves both hardware and software and algorithm development in between.